Hey everybody, welcome back to another midweek devotional here at Faith Assembly of God. Uh, this week we are just doing a Christmas edition of the devotional. And instead of reading a verse and then expanding on it, I thought I would do something a little bit different. And I want to read to you the Christmas story out of Luke chapter 2. Every year we read through this as a family, uh, my family and I do, and every year it just something in it strikes me new and there's something beautiful to be found in it and so i just want to share it with you if you do have your bible or you want to pause the video and go get your bible app uh, fired up or something like that feel free to do so but here we go i'm going to begin reading in luke chapter 2 verse 1. now in those days a decree went out from caesar augustus that a census be taken of all the inhabited earth this was the first census taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone was on his way to register for the census, each to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, in order to register along with Mary, who was engaged to him and was with child. While they were there, the days were completed for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and she wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. In the same region, there were some shepherds staying out in the fields and keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord suddenly appeared before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terribly frightened. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which, you, which will be for all the people. For today in the city of David there has been born for you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there appeared with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. When the angels had gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds began saying to one another, Let us go straight to Bethlehem then and see this thing that, the, that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. So they came in a hurry and found their way to Mary and Joseph and the baby as he lay in the manger. When they had seen this, they made known the statement which had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it wondered at the things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary treasured all these things, pondering them in her heart. The shepherds went back, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, just as had been told them. It's just a beautiful portion of scripture. It's about, it's not even really half of the second chapter of the Gospel of Luke. But history changed that day. God stepped out of heaven, became a little baby, and that little baby would grow up to die on a cross for your sins and for mine, taking the wrath of God upon him, wrath that was meant for me and for you, because through Adam, sin came into the world. But through Christ, we can be redeemed from it. We can be freed from it. If you're watching this and you've experienced a relationship with Christ, you can be like those shepherds glorifying and praising God for what you've seen and heard. If you've not accepted Christ, if you've not made that decision to follow him, I would definitely challenge you this Christmas to make that decision. Pray, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, that God raised him from the dead, and you'll be saved. And then you're going to notice things begin to change in your life. I'm not saying things are going to get easier. Any pastor or preacher who tells you that life is going to get easier because you became a Christian, they're selling something or they want something from you. I don't want anything from you. But I want you to have Christ. And so today, I would challenge you to make that choice to follow him. God bless you guys. Daddy, My kid just walked in. Thanks, Izzy. Can you pause this? I can't. I can't pause this. Merry Christmas. <laughs>